Welcome to the official YouTube channel of 4 I'm your host, AJ, and today we're doing an unboxing and a mini review of the Masterverse, Masters of the Universe, Battelle Creations exclusive, new Eternia Vicron Deluxe figure. Now, this is the first time that Vicron has ever been realized in Masterverse Plastic. And Vicron is a character based on one of the very first prototypes made for the He-Man Masters of the Universe vintage toy line by Mattel designer Roger Sweet. Now, Roger created three mock-ups back in the day. He created a tank head with this big <laughs> tank turret gun for a head. Then he created a barbarian that looked like Conan with a drinking goblet, you know, turned upside down on his head. And then he also created a spaceman with, let's be honest, he used a Boba Fett head and uh, put it on top of him with some armor. And, uh, and those were his three prototypes. But they weren't actually supposed to be three individual characters, but rather one. It was supposed to be a toy system where the hero, He-Man, could change into any of these looks by switching out the armor. But the one in the middle, you know, that barbarian look is the one that stole the show at Mattel and eventually led to the creation of He-Man as we know him. You know, the most powerful man in the universe. So I'm super excited to take a look at this figure. But I wanted to say that because Vicron can be displayed in three different ways, a lot of people spend a lot of money on three Vicron figures. But I only bought one. And, and um, thanks to the advice of some great collectors out there, like frugal collectors, you know, like Jay, like Matt, like Mike, so many. Um, I bought one Vicron figure and then two discounted He-Man Revelation figures that I hope I can use to display all three looks of Vicron. You know, the two helmeted looks can be worn by He-Man, and then I can have the Barbarian look, and I can have all three Vicron looks displayed on my shelf, and I didn't have to buy three Masterverse Vicron figures to do so. So we'll see if that works, but first let's take a closer look at that packaging. So taking a closer look at Vicron's packaging, and we first have to start out by calling this out as environmental friendly packaging. You know, this is that Mattel Creations exclusive, no plastic, just paper and cardboard packaging. And uh, windowless packaging would be hard sell, I think on the retail level, you know, especially with um, fans that uh, aren't sure what they're getting inside of the box. But it seems like everyone is good with it when it comes from Mattel Creations. Boy, does it give a canvas to put a lot of terrific artwork on it. And this one does not disappoint. This artwork is done by Simon Eckert. And, you know, you have three looks of Vicron here and same thing on the back. And I tell you, this takes me back to the... Um, you know, Frank Frazetta days, artist Frank Frazetta, when he would do like all of this fantasy artwork and he would do all this Conan the Barbarian artwork on the uh, Robert E. Howard novels and stuff like that. And then like the Savage Sword of Conan comic artwork. And it just really takes me to these great, fantastic illustrations. So Simon, he really outdid himself here and it just looks fantastic. Now, of course, we have a bio here, just like Darklin. And uh, the bio reads, Vicron, Ultimate Eternian Champion. The legend of Vicron's glory in the Gladiator Arena is known far and wide across Eternia. After every victory, he claimed a trophy, the armor and weapons of his fallen opponents. After mastering each armor's battle techniques, Vicron became a one-man arsenal who defeated everyone who dared challenge him no matter the foe or terrain. You know, it's funny. It says uh, Vicron defeated everyone who dared challenge him. But if you go to the classics bio, that's not the case. When he actually fought uh, Gygor in the rain, Vicron was killed. Gygor actually ripped Vicron's body in half. 
I am not kidding you. This was in the classics bio, and it's so like not Motu, right? Actually having one of the characters killed, and not just killed, but his body dismembered. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I read it, but it looks like they omitted that in this particular Masterverse bio, which I'm happy about. So Vicron still lived and survived and became a champion. Now, look at this fantastic artwork inside as well. I think it's the same as, yep, outside of the box. Boy, do I love this. So let's just open this here. Okay, and we, here we have Vicron in its packaging. So let me undo all these straps here. I think, yep, this is all just cardboard straps, so there's no plastic. And I think the accessories are inside this box, and um, we'll take a closer look. So here we have Vicron out of the box, but Vicron is all about his accessories. So we have these accessories tied to the cardboard back panel of Vicron. And then also we have this accessory box that we mentioned before. And what's great is it shows his contents, you know, it shows everything that's included inside. And let's take a closer look at this little toy chest. Look at that. It's all of his accessories you can maintain inside. And empty or not, this can also serve as a great podium for your figure. I mean, look at that. It says Vicron, Ultimate Eternian Champion. And you could just put Vicron on there. And then this great artwork panel, if you turn it around, it also serves as a diorama, just like the Darkland figure. And you could display them like this on your shelf. And how awesome is that? Now let's attack Vicron's three unique looks, one look at a time, starting with this barbarian look. And he has all the appropriate accessories on him. He has that fur, white fur, soft goods cape. He has his battle axe. And here is also, he can be displayed with two closed fist punching hands, but I'm just gonna keep his grabbing hands on him for now. And so far, I'm really liking this look. First, I really appreciate the soft goods cape. I think he looks fantastic here. And I'm not very familiar with um, gemstones. Maybe this is a sapphire or could it be an opal? But I love the lustrous sheen of this opal gemstone in his power harness. And also on his um, shin armor here, he's got square gemstones. And both, all three of the opals look fantastic. And I actually like them the most. I like them over these red gemstones that are on these gauntlets and also on his helmet. But uh, I still like these as well. But uh, I love these blue ones. And I love the sheen of the steel paint on the power harness. It's really painted well. Um, the belt's okay. The gauntlets are okay. You know, there's no wash on these. But I think on the prototype, it was never advertised that way. Same thing with the helmet. But um, I'm still really digging this look here. And I like this axe. And... Um, you know, in regards to articulation, I think you're going to get great articulation out of him. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just like the Revelation He-Man. You know, perhaps the only difficulty you're going to have is maybe the head, the range of movement. Let me see if I can remove this soft goods cape here. Yeah, this is Velcro here. Look at that. Okay, so we can slip it right out of the power harness. Let me detach it here. All right, so if you see what I mean, you know, you're going to have a little difficulty with that long hair in regards to full range of movement. But otherwise, um, articulation is going to be great for this figure. If you notice, he also has a sheath here, so it looks like he can put his power axe. Power axe, listen to me. His battle axe right into the back. And here's a close-up of his head sculpt. And boy, does he look really, really cool. You know, I love that they finished out the uh, the drink, the upside down drinking goblet on his head. You know, they actually finished it out. It's no longer proof of concept, but it looks like a real helmet and it doesn't look silly anymore. So it looks like the flaps on the side are soft plastic. Yeah, but the hair is hard. But how terrific does that look? And just a comparison body-wise, it looks like you got the same buck for Vicron as you do Masters of the Universe Revelation He-Man. Uh, it's the same chest and abs, and, uh, you know, you got the same shoulder cut, same bicep, elbow, forearm, fist. You have the same thighs, knees, ankles. Looks like, yep, the same fur on the boots. And the same boot, at least on the top part, but the shoe part is actually different sculpts. 
And while the belt, yep, are definitely two different sculpts, it is the same sculpted fur. And here we are at the second look of Vicron, and this is the spaceman, the space suit. This is not Boba Fett here, but this is the final realized version of that prototype. Do you know what this look is from? Do you remember? Of course you do. The vintage 1982 Castle Gray Skull. And there were these cardboard cutouts that you would get with the castle and insert them inside the, you know, the castle chambers. And do you guys remember the spacesuit? This is the spacesuit from that cardboard cutout that was next to that oven. I know it's not an oven. It was uh, like a computer console. But um, this is it. This is, look, the helmet is the same. You know, the butterfly visor is the same. The breathing tube, uh, the gun, although I, I think it was a different color, but it still had that same sort of angular end. And it's just really fantastic that they use this design as the final form. It's just exciting to me, and it's a great look. And you look at him here, he's got this jet pack back here. Do these wings do anything? No, but they're translucent and you could fly in the air, kind of like Boba Fett. And look at this, this is just a fantastic look. Look at the helmet. Ah, oh, I just love it. It looks like you could give Zodak a run for his money. Does the hose come out? It feels like it doesn't. Maybe it can, but I don't want to force it. In regards to articulation, it's possible that armor yeah it's going to limit some but who cares he just looks so cool man i love this look and here is the final look of vicron this is the eagle tank armor look and this is probably the least favorite of vicron's looks out of the bunch for me it just looks a little much, you know. This actually reminds me of uh, Rhino in the movie Amazing Spider-Man. It's just a lot. Uh, you know, here we, we have his battling ram. Um, you know, it's fine if he holds it with two hands. It looks like this handle's articulated, but it doesn't hold well in one hand. It's kind of cumbersome. And then he's got this, this, I guess, Eagle Tank helmet with two gun turrets that he could sit and ch -ch 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 <laughs> shoot people. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Even though they say eagle, you know what this kind of reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of the land shark in a way, you know, more a land shark than talon fighter. Now the jaw is articulated and I guess you can see the face inside. If you look really hard, who's wearing the outfits. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's an interesting look. I mean, the prototype was an interesting look as well. The mock-up, right? And uh, it, it's got history, and that's why I like it. Um, so I'm not a huge fan, but, um, you know, looks kind of cool, I guess. So finally, here's the triple threat. All three Vicron looks at the same time, and I think this looks pretty good. Uh, using two He-Man Revelation figures. Granted, they're not the same skin tone, but you could even look at it this way. These weren't originally Vicron's armor sets, right? He won these by defeating opponents in the Gladiator Arena. So once he defeated this opponent, he took his armor set. Once he defeated this opponent, he took his armor set. So think of it that way, and it really works well. And this allows you to display all three looks at the same time on your shelf and by saving a few bucks. And I really love these figures. Some people complain that it doesn't look like Roger Sweet's prototypes, you know, that it was changed too much. For me, those prototypes were not supposed to be their final form. They were proof of concept figures, a He-Man system that was not fully realized. One had a Boba Fett head, one had a, uh, a tank head, right? They were quickly assembled, partially realized toy set characters. But what Masterverse gave us is if that He-Man toy system was approved back then and was created by Mattel. And this was truly the figures we got in 1982, right? A totally different alternate universe. And that's what Mattel gave us here. A final form, a matured form of what Roger Sweet's original proposal, proof of concept, would look like 
if that actually became a reality with obviously advanced articulation and, and, and paint applications and so forth. And uh, I just really love Masterverse's take here. And I really love these figures. I think they're really going to look good on anyone's shelf who appreciates Masterverse figures. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this review and we'll see you next time.